But the story I wanted to tell you because it is about a particular mental defilement that I'm sure all of you have to encounter from time to time is the the situation when we we used to exercise Lung Po Cha. You must imagine he would lie on his back and the monks would massage or exercise his arms and his legs uh, giving massage and it was always the it was about four monks doing that at the time um, and it was always the duty of one monk to make sure that that Lung Po Cha would not um, urinate into the bed because obviously he because he had no longer control over his bodily functions uh, someone would have to take care of the fact that he you know he it was always be in a, in a little bottle uh, and that had to be taken care of so that he wouldn't wet the bed because then I'd have to take all the sheets off you had to clean the whole place and uh, start basically all over again so I just had this lovely two weeks with some very mindful lovely beautiful monks and I had asked for a second shift uh, which is another story I'd love to tell but I won't have enough time <laughs> but I just was granted another two weeks shift and so I was on this shift and we were exercising Lung Po but the group of monks I was with they weren't so mindful uh, they were actually in my opinion quite um, almost mm, a bit sloppy they chatted among themselves while we were doing the exercises and they seemed to not really be uh, paying the kind of attention that me in my kind of Western righteous mind would have wanted them to pay because there was the Grand Master and we were looking after him we were uh, exercising him and sure enough they would have to pay respect be respectful and not be chatting and not be be uh, um, you know forgetting themselves so I was getting a bit upset there however after about a good five or ten minutes Lumpur Shah urinated into the bed <laughs> and I was really getting upset because this monk obviously neglected his duty he didn't do his job so we had to clean the whole bed up do the sheets new uh, start all over again and again they were chatting away and for the second time Lung Po urinated into the bed and I was getting really angry by that time but of course Asian culture in Thailand you don't you're not supposed to show anger because it's an unwholesome mind state so I tried to contain my anger uh, as best I could and sure enough cleaned the bed up, took another good 10 minutes, new white sheets, everything, started exercising, and you wouldn't believe it, for the third time, Lumpur Shah urinated into the bed. And I just blew a fuse. I was a young three or four Vasa monk who just could no longer control his anger. And I blasted this monk, actually Laotian monk, uh, who was actually senior to me by at least one year and it was just absolutely unheard of that you know a prafarang like myself would uh, get so angry and to the point of you know becoming loud and, and screaming and yelling and actually blasting this monk but what happened was even more unbelievable and something that I will never forget for the rest of my life because as you know Lung Po Cha was paralyzed and he was not supposed to be able to move uh, any of his limbs let alone sit up but he was lying on his back at that time and as I was blasting this monk Lung Po Cha by himself uh, sat up just from the lying pos position uh, and started shaking the whole body was shaking because he needed obviously to put a lot of effort into you know exercising control over the body to the extent that he could actually sit up he went into, went into these convulsions and he sat up and he stared 
straight into my eyes with a look that I will never forget for the rest of my life. And I was just even saying it, my hair stands on end and I <laughs> start almost shivering because it was just an experience that was just awesome. Yeah. Uh, and of course he didn't say anything because he could no longer speak. But he didn't need to say anything either because the message was absolutely clear uh, and evident and plain uh, there and then at that moment. It doesn't matter, and that was the message I, you know, got out of it for myself. It doesn't matter what anybody else does. You need to look after your own mind. It doesn't matter what other people do. You do not need to get angry over anything. So the message was, again, pointing back to our own minds.